It's a judgment day for the Taraba State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal, and security agencies are not taking chances as all roads leading to the court premises are barricaded. Inside the courtroom, the three-man panel of judges led by Justice G.A. Sumono dismissed the petition of the new Nigerian People's Party and its candidate, Professor Yahya Sani, for lacking merit. The NNPP and its candidate are alleging corrupt practices, non-compliance to the Electoral Act of 2022, overvoting, mutilation of result sheets, and violence in polling units during the conduct of the March 18th governorship election in the state. The petition was anchored on two grounds. First ground is that the election was invalid by reason of non-compliance. And that the second ground was that the um, governor did not win the election by majority of lawful votes. All the 128 witnesses they have brought did not prove any of the allegations against uh, the return of the governor. Documents were tendered without the makers of the documents being called as witnesses. The law does not permit that because a document cannot speak for itself. So if there is any issue with the document, you call as witnesses those who made the document and people in whose uh, presence the document was made. Party faithful took to the streets of Jalingo, the state capital, to celebrate the decision of the tribunal. Meanwhile, the Governorship Election Petition Tribunal in Sokoto State has dismissed the petition filed by the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Mr. Seydou Omar. In a unanimous judgment, the chairman of the tribunal, Justice Haruna Mshelia, said the petitioners were unable to prove the six grounds formulated in the petition. In the course of trial before the petition, no contrary result was presented by the petitioners. So the tribunal came to a conclusion that actually APC and its candidates won majority of the lawful votes cast at that election. The grounds for the petition include alleged falsification of certificates, variation of names, electoral fraud, and non-compliance with electoral guidelines. We were able to show, even come to the point that our own brothers, school headmasters, where someone responded school or the non school, and the fact lies that his name was not found on the register of that school. But the tribunal says that those witnesses are supreme witnesses, and to that extent, their evidence goes to no issue and being rejected. Conversely, other issue raised therein again, the tribunal looked at it in their own wisdom and felt that they are dismissed because they are not relevant to the issue at stake. The petitioners have 14 days to file an appeal, which should be dispensed within the next 60 days.